been working with various forms of petrol atom throughout our entire chemist career. This question of petrol atom containing possible carcinogens is never going to go away. Why? Well, without making this an hour long video, we feel there's two bigger issues here. One, it comes from a very not glamorous source, petroleum, and two, falls under some archaic classification. Know that all petrol atom falls under a single CAS registration number. Why this is an issue is that there's no differentiating petrol atom used in the auto industry versus what's used in the food or beauty industry. And this explains why the EU classifies all petrol atom as a category two carcinogen, probably the root source of all of this fear. Now in personal care, the petrol atom available is very refined. It goes through a hydrogenation process to remove all of those impurities to get a USP grade petrol atom, also called white petroleum jelly. And for further peace of mind, petrol atom gets classified as an OTC ingredient when claimed as a skin protectant. And this is good news because it means it falls under FDA regulation and with regulation comes specifications, which means the petrol atom used must be of a certain purity. And finally, if you are still worried because some expert out there says you should, know that because of petrol atoms long and turbulent history of repeated scrutiny, this material has been studied by many various international regulation bodies and has yet to find conclusive evidence that these materials would be deemed carcinogenic. And that's way, way more testing than a lot of other skincare ingredients out there. Hope that helped you use petrol atom in confidence because it really is one of the gold standard occlusives. Be ashamed to miss out. Chemist out.